friends, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. I'm getting ready for the day. So I figured I would just turn on the camera and talk to you all, catch you all up on a couple things. And then I have a little bit of a surprise treat for you that I hope you like. Um, I'm still a little like, <laughs> so sorry if I sound like a sexier version of myself. Uh, I cannot help it. I got this dark raspy voice going on and it won't go away. But I am filming this, when does this video, I think this video comes out on the 22nd. I'm officially filming more and more and more in advance to get ready for the wedding. So I'm actually filming this on January 10th. The usual cadence of my channel is I film like a week before the video goes live. Usually nothing is older than a week when you see it, but I am having a very different just schedule of events while I prep for the wedding. Where do I begin? Well, first I'm gonna tell you something that is just random and so exciting. The day that I'm filming this in California, there is something called a King Tide, which I really don't know that much about like tide patterns or just like, there's so many different terms for like when the water is really warm or when the whatever, when the whatever, when there's bigger currents, bigger waves, all the things. And I'm sure the longer I live here, the more I will learn those things. But to my knowledge, to my understanding, King Tide is, it happens maybe three times a year and it's where the water is surprisingly warm. And then it's also like the lowest tide ever. Um, and King Tide hits at 3 p.m. today. And apparently you go walk the beach and you like the water is so far back, but all these critters are out because of the warmth. And you could see a ton of just like marine biology, wildlife running around that you don't normally see. So it's like super fascinating to go take a beach walk and you see all different types of little sea slugs and starfish and just like tons of things just like hanging in the little tide pools, walking around. I'll get a couple iPhone clips of that for y'all and I will put it in this video as well. Here's a little bit of realness, okay? I was telling Tara, my editor, if y'all don't know, Tara has been the most essential part, Tara and my manager, Rachel, have been the most essential parts of my team. She's edited pretty much all of my videos for what, Tara, the last three plus years. Anyways, I was texting her today and I was like, I gotta be so for real with you. I have filmed every single day. I have not had a day off of filming since December 10th, which I'm filming this January 10th, except for New Year's Eve when we had a 24 hour travel day from Rome to Paris back to the US. It was literally a 24 hour travel day. And I was like, I am just feeling kind of behind on all of the normal boring adult like tasks, all the computery sort of stuff. I love filming, which is why I can accidentally go that long without realizing I haven't had just like a normal day. The reason it catches up to me though is because whenever I'm filming something, I want to do all of the film things when the lighting's good, which is like all day. And then that leaves all of the annoying, boring, annoying, let's make that a new word, annoying, which is annoying and boring. Um, computer tasks, live task, admin task, all those sorts of things. It only really leaves me early, early morning and then like nighttime to do that. So what I've been doing is waking up at like 6 a.m., doing computer work like six to nine, filming like nine to five, and then doing computer work evening, night, until bedtime, 9, 10 p.m. It makes me feel very behind. So I was telling Tara, I was like, my creative tank is feeling a little dry and I'm feeling like all the little annoying, excuse me, annoying tasks. Do we have enough deleted scenes to like give a little surprise deleted scenes portion of a video? She was like, we can see. <laughs> so personally, I love that type of footage because um, a lot of times it's a little, it's a little more unhinged and it just like isn't perfected for like a normal vlog. So I actually feel like the stuff that is deleted has a different personality to it in a sense. I always think it's fun. You guys let me know, but um, that's my little surprise for you today is get ready chat, maybe some King Tide and some deleted scenes. Let's go ahead and roll that and then I will come back to y'all with the rest of my makeup. Enjoy this little deleted scene montage. Something y'all don't know about me is how much I cry chronically over film for vlogs. Like I just, I just do too much. I just film too much. I love my job. I'm sorry, what can I say? <laughs> All right, I'm home. Not gonna lie, I stopped by a nail spot. I haven't 
fix my nails since Austin and I broke like three of them moving. So I just cut them all off myself. Stop by a nail spot, they did a really good job, but they took a long time. And I feel like whenever you move somewhere, refinding all the spots, like the like where you get your hair done, your nails, your groomer, where you wash your car, all those, those sorts of things is always like, it takes like almost a year to find all the spots that you need that you like. But I am hungry. I hope this is still okay. Let's see, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. It's three, four days old. It's beef. Do you think it's okay? Tastes good. Y'all wanna know where Jordy is? He's in Cabo. He's playing with his friend Ben Rector for a PGA golf tournament. And like two months ago, he invited me to come. And I was like, you know, it's too close with the move. I think I'll be too overwhelmed. So I, I think I'll just stay back. They are staying at, they're split up between, some of them are staying at the Hard Rock Resort in Cabo, which is an all-inclusive resort. And some of them are staying at Nobu. And they're playing at Nobu. And Jordy has his own suite with like a hot tub on the patio, a, a a personal assistant, all of these things, and he's being paid to be there. And I could have tagged along just for the cost of a flight ticket. Why did I stay behind? <laughs> Why? It's <laughs> so dumb, I'm dumb. This is me checking this mic. Yesterday, um, I finally unpacked everything in my office and I just now found my huge mic again. And I'm hoping that at least it will stop the rattling, but it is so huge. And if I ever wanna turn the camera and speak, like showing you something, I have to take the mic off and put it back on backwards. Like, let me show you. This is how huge the mic is and it's not facing me right now, but let me turn it around. And I'm sure you can hear me a lot better. So it's so much less convenient. It has a cord. It's not smart. It's huge. Um, but I just think that the rattling of the other smart tiny mic is just out of control. So we're back to this big old inconvenient boy just for the sake of quality. So let's all say goodbye to my cute little compact smart mic that worked so well the first couple months I had it. I don't understand why two in a row started rattling. This was the solution to all my problems for a while, but now I'm looking for new solutions. Part of my packing to do is I have so much makeup in here. I'm gonna unpack my makeup bag and take just a few essentials with me. And while I do that, I wanted to um, catch you guys up on some things. First, something that's just very sweet. Right now, Jordy is at his brother's show and I don't even know, South Bend? His brother is on an off, no, on a touring, like Broadway Across America show right now because he's a musical theater person. And his wife, who is about my age, is currently in an off-Broadway musical theater production because they both went to school for musical theater. And I was just sitting here, because Jordy was texting me during intermission, like, the show's so good. I was sitting here being like, it is crazy. The family I'm marrying into, because you guys might know, I went to a performing arts high school as a musical theater major. It was like a college preparatory program. And um, it's like pretty selective. I think 30% of the people that auditioned get in. It was like very intensive. And so that was my whole world for forever. I did that because acting. So I'm just like, wow, it's so special that my soon to be husband loves musical theater and he comes from that whole family. His sister, Jordy's sister, is a director, a musical theater director for a school. And then her husband was also a musical theater major in college. So the whole family just loves musical theater. And I'm just like, how shocking is that? Second update is some of y'all recommended to me a new podcast because I sh shared that I really liked Scamanda um, and it's called Believable, the Coco Birthman story. I'm only on episode four out of 10, so I'm sure there's a lot to come, but I really like it so far. So my plan today is I just, I've been in a podcast mood lately. I look so forward to days like today where I have things to do, where I'm like, I can just put in my little earphones and listen to that podcast while I fold laundry and clean and pack and do all that sort of stuff. So very excited about that. And third is I swung by the mall on the way home from church today to start looking for wedding shoes. And I hate everything. I hate everything. <laughs> at the mall. So maybe we'll go to Nordstrom Rack if I get enough done. No promises. This is a lot smaller. That's a good accomplishment. 
Okay, I found a couple contenders. I know I want to block heal so I don't twist my ankle. These are a little tall, but I'm going to try them on. And they have a very short blue option. Um, I'm worried about this type of heel rubbing my heel. Also, I'm getting distracted because they have the little mini Uggs. Not the ones that are like super popular this year, but I'm just so curious to know what they feel like. <laughs> okay, these run a little small. I think I'd have to find them in a size up, but they are really comfy. I'm not gonna get them, but it's fun to try on. Okay, here's these. They fit. I do think that they're just a little tall for comfort. These might be like a two and a half to three, and I feel like a one and a half to two is more the correct size. And these feel too big, so these are now. Okay guys, I'm trying these on for fun, knowing that I absolutely do not want to walk in little tiny pencil heels all day, but could be kind of fun for the after party. They are pretty fun. These kind of tempt me and I don't know why. So a sweet girl inside was really hyping me up about these shoes. She was like, I just got married. Those are so cute. So I got them to try with the after party dress. Um, there's a good chance I'll end up kicking them off and going barefoot halfway through the after party, but they were like over half off. So the return policy is great here. I'm gonna try them on, see if I need to return them, but there's also a Marshalls right in this parking lot as well. Chances are slim, but I feel like I drove all the way out here, so I might as well just peek in the Marshalls at the shoes. Also, I got a rain jacket that's very cute. I don't have a rain jacket, so. Today, this afternoon, I am serving at church. This is only my second time doing this title, like the slides, using something called Pro Presenter. I show up the first time. They're like, oh, oh, we'll show you how to do it. Church is starting. Nobody showed me how to do it. And they're like, you know Pro Presenter, right? Everybody knows Pro Presenter. And I'm like, no. And I did it, I did okay. But this time is a different venue and it's like not on a computer, it's on an iPad. And I'm a little intimidated because the pastor at my church out here he uses so many quotes and so many verses. There's literally like probably 58 slides for a single talk, not including all the slides for all of the songs. So since it's at a new spot with an iPad, I'm like texting her asking if I could show up early so that somebody can walk me through it. You know, I'll serve wherever's needed. I just might not do a good job. I'm pretty sure I parked pretty illegally to go to church on a corner because there's some sort of like fair or farmer's market or something happening and there's no parking anywhere. And I now have 10 minutes to learn Pro Presenter on an iPad. So we're just gonna pray that I don't get a ticket. Actually, it's funny. Jordy got a parking ticket yesterday and I walked it up to the car as he was getting ticketed. And I was like, oh, that's my fiance's car. And I was like, Jordy, Jordy, come here. And he was like, oh no, yeah, no, I got a ticket. But he was surfing, so he didn't have his glasses. And he like pulls out a ticket to hand to the guy. And the parking enforcement guy was like, my guy, this is from October and it's from the airport. <laughs> and Jordy was like, oh, I'm sorry, I don't have my glasses on. I can't see which one's which. <laughs> also, just a side note, I'm so bummed because mom just got this on Black Friday and then I just got one too, two days ago, full price. I didn't know they were Black Friday. <laughs> I'm glad you're on the OCO should cleanse her game though. I'm glad I paid full price for it two days ago. <laughs> I found you a date loofah. Yes. So age appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> I have a ponytail, so it's not gonna. That is so fun. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I can't get it on my head with my ponytail. <laughs> if I was into gardening, I would get this simply for the garden. Oh god. Maybe I will be into gardening soon with the with the yard. Sitting in traffic. <laughs> Driving out of LA still. But I just have to say my mom's 60th birthday video went live. And this is such a small random thing, but it makes me so happy when I see comments calling mom, mama Jancy or dad, papa Jancy. Something about that is so wholesome. And it makes me feel like I get to share my sweet parents with the internet and that they're like partially y'all's parents too. And I don't know, maybe I'm hormonal, feeling sentimental, but just like seeing mama Jancy, mama Jancy, mama Jancy written out several times and comments like got me teary I also miss them <laughs> I'm not gonna see them till the wedding it's probably the longest time I've gone without seeing them in a long 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 time since I'm not going home for Christmas it's pretty sad honestly I miss them a lot but the wedding will be here very soon anyways mama and papa Jancy love y'all they tell me that all the time so they're honored to be 
internet parents as well as IRL parents. What are you trying Wait, to get? Are these ornaments, right? Yeah, but they're half off Christmas. Uh, last, last year our ornament together was two rats on a bike that said, <laughs> that said our first Christmas. So, wow, we're romantic. And now we have a rat problem in our house, so I kind of want to get him a rat ornament. <laughs> you have a rat problem in your new house? I didn't hear about this. It's beautiful. What do you think? Is that my, is that my new look? Mm -hmm. I like it. We're now at Madewell. I've been wanting to find a couple things. One, I feel like none of my jeans fit again. So trying on some jeans to try to figure out my new current size. Two, Mary Janes. And these are really cute. I have them on and I'm trying to figure out if they're gonna rub or not, but this has been on my list. So they're so cute. I just can't quite tell if they would rub my heel or not after walking in them for a while. I don't know if I should try a half size up or if that would create more room for rubbing, but I think that they're really cute. I've been looking for jeans that like aren't so rigid that they suffocate me when I put them on. I currently have one pair of like super, super baggy loose and then one pair that's pretty ripped up. So I don't have anything that's a little more fitted without rips. These might be the winner. These are the 90s straight curvy with magic pockets. Um, and I did not know if I'd be the tall length, but the, they don't have that in store. So this is just the regular, but it's very, very comfortable. So I think that these might be the winner. Okay, I'm trying on these jeans with other things like this sweater, I think, wait, four sizes up because I want like a very large beachy cozy sweater to wear um, at cold night beaches and the longer I wear these jeans, the more I really like them. They are quite comfortable. So we got a winner. I will link these. I'll link this, these, the Mary Janes, all down below in case, in case you're looking for any of them. The shirts were flops. Do not I was looking for more basic layering pieces um, on my list as well, and they're so soft, but they just fit funny and are a little sheer. So those are no's, but these other three things are yeses. I put on my robe because it was cold, but before I leave, I wanted to show you a couple new things that I really, really love. One was like a late night purchase I made on Amazon, and the next morning I woke up and I was like, did I order that? I like checked my order history, but I've loved it so much. I just showed it on TikTok. This is so unnecessary. It's an automatic salt and pepper grinder. I was getting so frustrated because with our pepper grinder, the hand crank one, I would crank it for like a minute and get like two flakes. And so I saw somebody use an automatic one in a video. And then I started looking and I found these and they're this beautiful green color. You press and hold this, it charges on this base. And then there's like a light and it just grinds it for you. So that is something I love. And then I wanna show you a sweet gift that I got from Mama Cersei. This is the cutest crossbody bag from Mama Cersei from the spot in her town that it's called Convit Collective. She also got me a necklace from them. They basically um, create jobs and employ people in Haiti. And the Cerseys go to Haiti quite a bit for like mission trips and stuff. And so that's something that's really important and like on their hearts. And how cute is this? Like, it's just so cute. I'll see if they sell online. I know they have a website and if so, I will link this down below as well because isn't that just so cute? I have no idea what center we're at right now, but it is freaking cool. What is it? Westfield. Oh, it's a Westfield. We're gonna go to the suit supply, but there's like a Reformation, there's a Lalabo, there's an Aritzia. Don't let me go into any of these, okay? okay. We gotta save for our honeymoon. Let's get you a let's get you a suit. We're on a bit of a wait and there's an Aesop and a Lacalom. This center was made for me. And a true food. A true food? There's a true food? Sweet and a sweet food? And an aloe? Wow, honestly, I could go for some true food. I miss that place. Honestly, I am excited to watch that back and see what little hidden gems I'd forgotten about because it has been months since we've done one of those. Also, I have a question for y'all. Listen. Can you hear any music? Because I'm pretty sure when I'm up here in this room, it's the furthest possible room from Jordy's studio, I'm pretty sure the camera can't hear it from, from this room, which is awesome. I picked a great room for my office, not even thinking about that but I'm curious if you can hear anything. Right now I only hear a I love y'all. Thank you for granting me a day of being able to put out a video with, you know, minimal effort and creativity on my part so that I can kind of catch back up on life. We are officially at the, uh, 
we are at the finish line for a lot of craziness. I feel like me kind of prepping for taking off a couple weeks in February. I can't imagine what it feels like to take off for maternity leave because it's that for like a couple months or a few months or maybe even longer. So, wow. Yeah, if I feel like this just trying to prep to take off two weeks, man, I salute you moms out there, especially self-employed. Wow. Um, but I love y'all. Thank you for clicking on this video. Every time you click on a video, it helps me and my team out immensely. And I am just so grateful you choose to spend any time with me here. Um, even if it's a little bit out of the norm video. So thank you. I love you. I hope you have the best rest of your day and I will see you in a normal vlog very soon. I'm filming a vlog, I think coming out after this one that I'm really excited about. It's time to get back to tackling some home projects, which is my love language, that and food. So let's get to that. I love y'all. Yeah.